first thing to do is to take your snorkel vent with the vents nearest the top. Place the bottom flange against the wall approximately 20 millimeters or three quarters of an inch below the air brake, like so. Lining it from left to right so that it's centralized on the air brake. Then swing it upwards against the wall to get it level. Place your spirit level on top. Move it until the bubble's in the middle. And that's, that's it lined up, so we mark it with a pencil. All the way around. Now, just check your line, that it's not getting too close to the air brake. That looks fine. Then clean the wall, just inside the line, with your wire brush. Take off any loose flakes. Okay, at this stage we want to key the back of this flange so that the adhesive sealant bonds properly to it. So I'm using a bit of wire wool, so you just wipe around this groove at the back. Or you could use some coarse sandpaper. Okay, that's it. I'm just wipe off the dust with your dry cloth. Okay, that's it, ready. Now, we want to check for the length of the prop to hold it against the wall while the adhesive is curing. So, if we set it on the pencil mark and just roughly measure from one of the louvers about 45 degrees down to the ground. Uh, in this case, it's what, about 500 millimeters? Now, this is a prop that I have already cut to the right length. So we place it under one of the vents, then put your weight against the bottom of it, like so. Check that it's going to sit there under its own weight. There we go, that's lovely. Now we can take the prop away, leave the weight in position, and we're ready to bond. The first thing to do is to check inside the pencil mark and if there's any cracks or crevices, to fill them in directly with the mastic. If you're applying the snorkel vent to a brick wall, at this stage you will have to fill in the recesses at the mortar between the bricks with the mastic gun. Or if it's a pebble dash wall, you may have to fill in the roughness inside the pencil mark with the mastic. Now in this case, the wall's flat so we don't need to touch the wall. We go directly to the snorkel vent and apply a bit of mastic to the groove here on the back of the flange. Apply a generous bead of silicon. Don't worry if it overflows a bit. Make sure you put plenty on it. A final check that there's no gaps. Then press it against the wall inside the pencil mark. Press it firmly in place. You can see that silicon squeezing out. Slide in your prop. Now you should see the mastic squeezing out all around. For tidiness, I'm going to wipe off the excess with my finger. There we are. Job done. 
Leave the prop in place until the mastic has cured. Read your manufacturer's instructions to find out how long this will be.